Welcome back to Midwest Magnum. I'm Kurt. Today I've got the Savage Access 64, 22 long rifle, semi-automatic rim fire. This is a great tactical and precision trainer. Very affordable, the ammunition is affordable, and it's a fun gun. That's nice. Now we'll put this through a rapid fire test and see if we can't get it to jam. So far so good. Doesn't hold open. Today's review is brought to you by Central Arms. Central Arms offers retail gun sales focusing on special orders for hard to find firearms, ammunition, and accessories. We get a lot of our inventory from Central Arms and they are awesome. Visit their website at centralarmsmp.com. The Savage Arms 64 Precision is a 22 long rifle with a heavy barrel and adjustable accu trigger that allows for crisp, clean trigger pulls. The 64 is a workhorse rimfire popular with plinkers and target shooters. And now the 64 is built with Precision Series upgrades. The new Model 64 Precision houses a semi-automatic action and a synthetic chassis with M-Lock slots and an ergonomic pistol grip. Its heavy barrel has a threaded muzzle for even greater functionality. Extend the range of room fire with the 64 Precision and see what's possible with Savage Accuracy. The Savage 64 Precision is a semi-automatic rim fire in 22 long rifle. The barrel length is 16 and a half inches and the overall length is 35 and a half inches. It weighs in at only 5.4 pounds, has a 1 to 16 twist rate, and has a capacity of 10 plus 1 or 20 plus 1. Our scoring system consists of three components, construct, performance, and maintenance, each having three additional subcomponents with each of these subcomponents evaluated at 33.3%. The scores are then tallied up and divided by three for an overall rating. Midwest Magnum considers any score above 85% to be a quality firearm. As you can see, the Savage 64 Precision and 22 Long Rifle scored a 92% with an overall A- rating. This Model 64 is a 22 Long Rifle Rimfire semi-automatic. It comes in at about five and a half pounds. It's got a one in 16 twist ratio. Um, it's got a six inch Picatinny rail on the top here. Um, it's got a lot of neat little features, 20 plus one. You can also get a 10 plus one. Uh, it's got the Savage trigger, which is their Accu triggers are just awesome. It also comes in an MDT Onyx um, polymer frame. So although this looks like it's the, you know, the metal, uh, MDT chassis. It's actually a polymer MDT, but it's it's an awesome chassis. So one thing to realize if, on the Model 64, if you can see, there's little notches right there. When you pull the the lever back and push in, it will hold open for you. Now the gun came like this, and I couldn't figure out how to get it to open up. Seems simple. Seems like it would be an easy thing to know. Um, until I was fooling around with it and realized you pull the knob out and it releases. So it does not hold open though on your last round and that's a little frustrating. The 64 also comes with a threaded barrel, half by 28. So if you're looking to put a suppressor on it, no problem. Another thing to note, make sure you bring the loader assist. 
So this does not have any kind of a pull tab. Being 20 rounds, once you get to about 15, you're not going to push those bullets down anymore. So the, the loader assist I left in the box at home, completely forgot to bring it. I don't have any 10 round mags, so I really missed that. But 15 rounds is good. The mag release is underneath the chassis in front of the magazine. So it's kind of convenient that you get to, when you're grabbing the magazine, you're putting your thumb right up there. Um, it's a different design. Don't have many guns or haven't used many guns that have that design, but it's growing on me, definitely. This is a very reliable and a very accurate gun. Put through 400 rounds today, just over 400, had two malfunctions. One was caused by me loading the mag without the uh, loader assist. The other one was a failure of feed. Not sure what happened, but for a 22, two malfunctions out of 400, I'll take it. That's not bad. So we're going to do the uh, six pull trigger average test. Got a 5 5.6. 4.4. 5.6. So not a bad trigger. The six pull average came in at 5.1. So not, not bad. Since I use this as a trainer for my Savage Access 2 though, it's definitely not apples to apples because my Savage is in the mid twos. Um, although I'd use this more in the tactical training course that we're developing, I don't want to bring it down that low. So probably do some minor adjustments, maybe get it down to three and a half, four. But purpose of this is going to be tactical training and um, pound, pound and a half won't matter severely in training with my sa my Savage S Access 2. So, but overall, nice trigger. I mean, it's got a deep pull. It's, you've got, um, you can see there's a lot of pull there, but it's got a nice break and it's not, a cr you know, it's not chunky, it's a crisp break. So it's definitely got a lot of give, but then when it hits the wall, got a nice little pull so pretty good trigger i mean in this price range definitely a good trigger the optic i have on here today is a gotar shake awake micro reflex red dot uh, it comes rmr cut but also with a picatinny rail mount it is one heck of a red dot it's 108 bucks i wasn't so sure about it um figured i'll throw it on here see how it works it is an awesome red dot. I barely had to adjust it at all, and it's dead on. And it just goes to show, you don't have to spend a lot to get a lot. This is another hidden gem out there, and I will be picking up some more of these. So um, it's definitely, definitely worth a look. So we've got 85 degrees on the barrel right now. It's, it's lukewarm at best. Eighty nine. Rapid firing like that didn't bring the temperature up at all. I understand this is a twenty two, and it's not going to generate a ton of heat. But this barrel, I mean, I put through several mags of rapid fire, and the barrel has never gotten even remotely over lukewarm. So it is definitely a heavy barrel, and uh, it's. That's perfect for first guns because if if you know if you've got a, a child that's just learning and they accidentally grab that and that's really hot, that's not good. Um, but it's really it's a sweet gun. Now I added on just a um, standard bipod with a foregrip. Got one that I could tilt back so it wasn't in the way of my uh, bipod here. But again, thirty bucks, ten bucks. You just, you can't beat that. You can't beat that. You can't beat the price of 22. Uh, cleaning this isn't too bad. It's no worse than any other 22. Definitely not like that GSG 16 uh, where you have to break everything down. But all in all, this is a really nice gun and it's a perfect trainer gun. Perfect entry level gun. So whether 
this is going to be your first gun for a child or your first gun getting into the sport of shooting or whether it's a tactical trainer that you can do affordably. This is a really, really sweet gun, especially a under $300 gun. So even though it's a 22, it's got so many different features, but it, it's a very affordable at, at that. With all the features it has, how accurate it is, how great this gun is, for 259 which is what I got this for, you can't beat that. Now, I know the MSRP is 299 I believe, on Savage's website, but I've seen these as low as 220 on sale. So it is a fantastic starter gun. It's a fantastic trainer gun. This is going to be my backup trainer on our tactical course. Um, only it's going to back up to my GSG 16, but this is going to be another fun gun just to go around and plink, plink, plink very affordably and just have fun with it. And coming in at 5.5 pounds, this is definitely a great gun for smaller framed individuals or even kids that are looking to get into the sport of shooting. Obviously supervised and full safety training course, please. But it's a really nice gun. So if you're looking to get into sports shooting, you're looking to do tactical training, you're looking to get your daughter or son a first gun just to practice with, this is affordable, it's reliable, it's accurate, and it's just downright fun. Thanks for watching our video. Make sure to hit the subscribe button, the like button, and the alerts so that you don't miss any of our future videos. And by the way, that logo right there, you can click that to subscribe. So show us how good your aim is. That logo right there. That one. Go ahead. Click it.